Hey, hi there, Virgo. Welcome to my channel. My name is Linda, and I'm thanking you for tuning in to those energies and influences that are coming through for your weekly reading, the end of June 2019. This reading is about what you need to know. Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Ascendance. This is a predictive, condensed, general reading. Please only take those portions that resonate with you. I invite you to subscribe, like, comment, and share. It really helps me out a lot. And it helps to bring your vibration into those future readings. I also send my intentions out for my community and my viewers. Please remember to check out that description box below. There is a free birth chart calculator at the bottom. Thanks, you guys. And after the reading is a take note moment. Okay, Virgo. Off camera, I've done a protective blessing. I've shuffled and meditated over these cards. Just for you. Your first card. It's the general atmosphere. It's the background and the basis of the matter. Well, here you are, Virgo. The King of Pentacles. Earth Energy. Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Sun, Moon, or Ascendance. This is a mature man that's... He could be an investor. He's well off. He's a benefactor. He could be a boss or a father or someone that thinks that if they invest in you, they could profit from you sometime in the future. This indicates security. This is someone you or someone you know that's around you that aspires to great wealth. A man who loves money and riches and they're happy to collect as much as possible. They're very clever in business matters, like a financial wizard. They're not corrupt. They earn money through hard and patient effort, not through unworthy or dishonest business dealings. And he's generous with what he has and he shares gladly. The lesson is to be content with what you have and express your needs and undertake what is necessary for their fulfillment and avoid letting your self-esteem become dependent on your money or dependent on the opinion of the outside world. This is attracting wealth and enjoying retirement, could be giving to charity or indulging in the finer things of life, can also be maintaining a profitable business. Your second card, and this is the energy that's crossing over your path. The Nine of Pentacles, Virgo. More Earth energy here. This is self-reliance. It's independence. It's maybe you're craving a little alone time to be around the things that you like to have around you. This is being accomplished in your goals and feeling secure. You'll be able to further your career and your projects and enjoy a secure base. This is material well-being and well-controlled thought. It's solitary enjoyment of the good life love of gardens and home. This has earned rewards and fruits of labor and discipline. This is someone that's tamed their impulses, just like the bird that they tamed on their arm. It may be a time to act with such discipline, because you will accomplish much by taming your instincts. It could also be a time of self-reliance, for taking charge of your own future, or you may be craving more independence, or you may have already accomplished much and now it's time to indulge and pamper yourself. Your third card, and this is how it affects you. The Six of Swords, Virgo. This is air energy. This is recovery. It's mental relief. It's leaving your troubles behind. And there's a better future. This is smooth sailing. It's the calm after the storm, a transition, a move, or a journey. And this change will go smoothly. There's support here and relief at what you left behind. Could be going on a short trip somewhere or a spiritual journey, but the storm is broken and now calm sets in. So be open for how things develop and have patience. This is moving away from difficulties towards a more peaceful time. A release of tension and anxiety after a period of strain or confusion or something destructive. It's a mental shift. Someone being pensive or melancholy cautiously hopeful. This is riding out rough times or getting by despite troubles. And now your fourth card. It's the position of the future. It's the outcome, the results, and the advice. Virgo, you've got the Eight of Cups, water energy. Another card of moving to better. A better life lies just around the corner. 
This is the ability to leave something behind in order to go on to new concerns. It's moving on. It's travel. The cups have not fallen, so there's no disaster. You just know it's time to move on. It's a shift in someone's life from being involved in doing things with others, and now you need some quiet and a chance to be alone. This is someone that's turned their back on eight neatly stacked cups, and they head towards a mountain. The care in which they collected and placed the cups shows previous concern, but now he's abandoning them, totally. The moon in both the full and waning quarters looks on, signifying the end of something and the beginning of something new. This card indicates leaving the past behind, and even though the cups behind him are full, they can no longer satisfy him, because something is missing. Your fifth card, it's the bottom of the deck card, the underlying issue. This is what's unseen. Number 20 of the Major Arcana in the Rider Waite deck. Judgment. This could be a Scorpio, Sun, Moon, or Ascendants. Doesn't have to be, though. This is a spiritual awakening and new beginnings. It's a rebirth, a release, and review. It's new purpose and new plans, and delays can be conquered by development of the spirit. This is an awakening and a renewal. This is a change in the personal consciousness, which is now on the verge of blending with the universal. It's coming to terms with yourself, going down to rise up, a very special moment in life. It's life-changing. It's a change in life in a very important way, so you can rise up and seek new possibilities. This is a second chance, a second lease on life. You could have been called or feel awakened being deeply inspired and uplifted, reborn, summoned to a higher awareness, being inspired with big ideas with this new phase, could be awakening to your purpose or experiencing a breakthrough. It's thinking out of the box and uniting in a common goal. It's rallying others. It's the end of an old way of life, a cycle that is finished, and now it's time to seek a new direction to make adjustments that reflect who you truly are. And now your advice from the Oracle deck, The Sacred Traveler, by Denise Lynn. Virgo, you've got Ascending the Mountain. Well, it kind of looks like the Eight of Cups. Keep going forward. The journey might be hard right now, but a great view awaits you. You most certainly can achieve your goal, however you must continue forward through hard work and diligence. Do not give up. Even if it seems hard, keep going forward. Even if it sometimes seems that you're going up three steps and falling back two, you're still getting closer to your goal. Sometimes you may need to take smaller steps, but do not stop. Every step takes you closer to the peak of the mountain, and when you arrive, the view will be spectacular. It will be worth all your hard effort. And the sacred traveler wants you to know that it's okay to stumble or fall. Just don't stay down. Do not allow yourself to be limited by the beliefs of others or even by your own limiting beliefs or fears. Go beyond boundaries of self-imposed barriers. Live passionately and courageously. Keep moving forward fearlessly. Speak up for yourself. Honor your truth. This isn't the time to be timid or hold back. Go forward gallantly with your banner of truth waving in the wind. You are a light bearer for others. Here's your animal message by the deck created by Susie, Le Susie Green. Virgo, you've got peacock. Protect your heart from those who may cheat before they hurt you. Peacock's call warns of the dangerous approach of tiger and cobra. As forest denizens heed and flee, so you should now fly from the concrete jungle's double dealer and heartbreaker. Cosmic vehicle of Kama, Hindu god of love, Peacock knows that although the first declarations of love may be attended by flowers or offerings of ambrosial foods, true intimacy develops later in seclusion and simplicity. Outward show is a ritual and should not be confused with the realities of long-lasting relationship. Here's your take note moment. Virgo, within our subconscious minds, we can find a solution to every problem and the cause for every effect. There is a miraculous healing power in your subconscious, 
It can heal a troubled mind and a broken heart. It can free you from all kinds of material and physical bondage. The things that come to us most quickly in our lives are the things that we believe in the most. We can bring to us only what we believe, so as you must believe to receive what you want. So thank you guys, Virgo. I hope you stay tuned in and leave me a comment or a thumbs up, and please subscribe. Now remember, what goes around comes around, so I'm sending you out love and light and blessings. Thanks for watching.